Hey guys, today I want to show you a mocha pot. Mocha pot is used to make Cuban coffee, or it's like an espresso, uh, really strong coffee. But uh, we got this uh, oh, about a month or so ago, and uh, I like strong coffee. If you like strong coffee, this is the way to go. So uh, we're going to show you a little bit how to make it. I'm no expert, but I'll show you how I've been making it. Follow along. All right, here's all the things that you need to make uh, Cuban coffee, very strong coffee. Now, I've been using this uh, Cafe Bustelo. I've been, uh, we've got a big one of those, but then we have our, uh, our little mocha pot that we uh, actually do the brewing in. We're going to be mixing up a little sugar. I've done this different ways. I've done it without doing the sugar mixture. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to be using just bottled water here so I have some good water. But uh, this is what it takes to uh, make some Cuban coffee. All right, guys. First thing we're going to do is we'll take our mocha pot here. And these will come apart. They just twist off the bottom here. And inside of here is like a little cup. This will pull out. And what this does, this is where you put your coffee at. And so in order to put your coffee in there, I generally just take my tub of coffee here. Now I don't pack it tight. What I'm doing is uh, just kind of filling that up and just shake off the extra. It's very, very fine coffee. And then all you have to do is put it down into this unit here. And I just kind of wipe and make sure that everything's cleared off here. But that's the first step. The next step is we're just going to take, uh, like I said, I'm using bottled water. And uh, take the, uh, actually the bottom of it. I'm telling you backwards here. I got to pull this back out again. And what you want to do is you want to fill it up. If you can see right here on the bottom is a little, that's a relief, like a little relief valve. You want to fill your water just up to that valve. So uh, let me turn it around so I can see it. And so I just pour that just to the bottom. I don't want to cover that valve. I just want to right up to it. Place this down in here. This has a little gasket around here. You want to make sure that's kept clean in that so you can build up your steam in it. Then you just screw this together. Now I'm going to screw it on fairly tight so I get a good seal. And then all we have to do is set it on there. And I'm going to turn my burner probably on a little more than medium. Get it heated up there and get it started uh, started boiling away and you'll hear it as it starts boiling you'll hear it plump plump and it's blowing up into it so that's the first step all right we've got our pot on the uh, stove now it would be works nice on a gas stove but i don't have a gas stove but we uh, have it electric i'll show you something i've got done right here if you try to keep that handle turned away from the uh, heat element after a while i've heard people where this handle will get like brittle and crack so I just kind of turn it away and it'll take quite a little while to get started and you'll start hearing it bubbling up all right I've uh, taken a I got a two cup measuring thing and I put in it probably well you can see how much sugar I added into it again I'm so bad at measuring things I uh, just kind of cover it put about a, maybe an inch of sugar in there and what we're going to do is when we start getting our first runnings coming off the pot here what we'll do is we'll pour those in there and we're going to whip it up and make a like a creamy sugary mix there and that'll give us our frothiness all right some people uh, will just put milk in it some people just after we froth it up we'll do it uh, just black i like this little bit of this flavored 
we got this caramel macchiato creamer so i put some of that creamer in the bottom of it and so we'll uh, we'll use that as our our creaming for add a little flavor but you can do it either way you're gonna say you can do it black or just a little milk and it will work all right i wanted to show you the uh see how it's starting to bubble in here i don't know too much it might splatter me but we're gonna take these first runnings and make our froth all right we got some runnings coming out already so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some of this first runnings to our sugar not too much but enough to do it then we're gonna take and start whipping this up and making this a really frothy thing i probably put a little too much in it because generally what you do this will you'll uh, make it like a paste and i've got a little more than a paste going on here so we'll try it this way but normally you put a little bit less i, I probably want too much but then you just keep mixing, 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 mixing all that up. And this is supposedly what makes it frothy. They say this is where you give your arm a workout. I can hear the pot frothing away. When you quit here at thumping, that means that it's probably done. And the idea of this is to mix this sugar up till you get a really gone paste. Now I've done it without doing this and just use the coffee and add some cream to it. But I thought I'd show you this process there where you just keep stirring it, stirring it, stirring it. And you make it like a little paste there on it. This is how come Cubans have strong arms. All right, there we go, guys. We got a nice little, little, uh, paste going on there all right i think we got done with our pumping the coffee up into the top see if we can begin to get a quick little there it is you can see the coffee in there i've done it times where i didn't do it long enough and i had coffee left over in the bottom but we're going to put this uh, sugar paste we made we're going to divide this here between our two cups now th these aren't like a full cup this isn't like regular coffee that you're going to get a full cup on it you just get just a small shot it's like a cuban shot on it so let's go ahead and divide this up amongst our two cups here look how dark and rich that is guys go i'm gonna give these a little stir here see i didn't get the frothiness that i was shooting for mainly because i put a little too much of the first runnings in there and uh, didn't make a paste like i wanted to but that's pretty much a cup of cuban coffee all right guys here you go this is uh some strong coffee now let's give it a taste Oh, this is good. Now, if you don't like strong coffee, you probably won't like this. I love strong coffee. The stronger, the better. Oh, uh, we got, got watching this. Traveling with Robert does this all the time. And uh, that's how I kind of uh, got the idea from it. And I really love it. So, hey, if you guys enjoyed this, uh, give us a thumbs up. And if uh, you have any comments, questions, leave it in the section below. We'll get back with you. If not a subscriber, I invite you to hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit the bell if you want to be notified of our next video. We do all kinds of things, videos, live chats, but check us out. We'll see you guys the next time. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to support our channel, if you click in the section below, we are an Amazon affiliate. If you click on that link, that'll take you right to Amazon and we'll get a small percentage of everything you order and it actually costs you nothing. It's like giving us a tip. If you like to order t-shirts, we have a t-shirt uh, shop in Teespring. Click on that link and you can go in and get t-shirts, coffee check mugs, and there's also stickers there. If you'd like to order one of our stickers, you can go to the PayPal link 
and order a sticker just put your name address and how many stickers you like or if you'd like to just give us a tip you can also do that through the paypal link we thank you for your support Thank you.